This short video shows how live blood microscopy can be used to help people. It can reveal the state of people's blood, reflecting their state of health. It can demonstrate how careful food supplementation can lead to significant changes in the blood and to better health. Live blood microscopy is a method which can be used to assess a person's nutritional status. It is also a powerful tool for patient education and motivation. The first blood we see is the blood of a 46-year-old woman at her first visit. She presented with severe fatigue and has been having severe migraines for nine years. Often the migraines will last up to five days. She suffers with irritable bowel syndrome. She has poor mental function, an inability to concentrate and disturbed memory. You can see that the blood cells are very heavily stuck together. They're stuck together in two ways. Firstly, you can see that the cells are stacked one on top of the other. This is called rouleau. These chains of cells are also stuck together in clumps. It's really quite difficult to observe the plasma. But when we can see the plasma, spicules is present. And there is debris in the plasma as well. On her second appointment five months later, the woman was much less fatigued. Her digestion had improved considerably. She was still having migraines, although the migraines were less in number and severity. Her energy was vastly improved. As you can th see in the sample, there are more single red blood cells. The red blood cells are more even in size and shape. There is less rouleauing and the blood sample is more open. The chains of rouleaus are less sticky. There are small clumps of cells, but the blood is nowhere near as heavily clumped and rouleaued as it was on the first visit. This is the sample of a boy nine years old on his first visit. He suffered with ME for three years, but been ill for many years longer than that. He has extreme fatigue and lassitude. He has constant nausea. He is oversensitive to light and sound. He presented with extreme pallor, glazed appearance. He has four 40 minute naps per day and has never been able to go to school. On second visit five months later, you can see that there is a, an extreme improvement in the quality of the blood. The boy presented with significantly greater energy. His skin color was normal. He had clear eyes. His ability to relate to people and inter interact with us improved markedly. He had better appetite. He was more outgoing and friendly. He could concentrate more. He was no longer oversensitive to light or sound. Now he has just two short naps daily. This next sample is a sample of a 42 year old physician who came along to observe the state of his blood. The first thing you may notice is lots of small moving particles on the screen. These are called chylomicrons. Chylomicrons are the result of eating a high fat meal before coming in for the microscopy. In fact, this man had an Italian meal with a high olive oil content. He came not because he was ill, but because he was interested in microscopy. So in fact, this sample is a sample of someone who's relatively healthy. Looking at this sample taken five months later, the difference is startling. The red cells are single right across the screen. There is good immune cell activity. You probably notice that he didn't have another Italian meal before he came for this sample, although chylomicrons are present in smaller numbers. The neutrophils 
are moving in the plasma. The plasma is clean and clear with only small amounts of debris. The cells are shimmering, live and healthy. It really is a quite a remarkable difference from taking nutritional supplements. Our next patient is a 52 year old woman. She has been seriously ill for 25 years. She has severe irritable bowel syndrome, including profuse watery diarrhea up to 14 times daily. She has profuse flatus, bloating and severe abdominal pain. She presented with sleep disturbance, depression, irritability, fatigue and lassitude. She has a history of menstrual problems resulting in a hysterectomy. As you can see, the blood cells are stacked one on top of the other once again. There is quite heavy and consistent rouleau across the sample. The fine lines that you see in the plasma are called spicules. Only three months later the difference in her blood is startling. The blood is much more open, the cells are a good quality, and the plasma is much, much cleaner. There is no spiculing present in the sample. She has much less pain, significantly improved diarrhoea. The pain only occurs after eating. Her energy has improved significantly. She receives compliments all the time about how her physical appearance has improved. She has improved sleeping pattern and reports much improved general well-being. Our next patient is a 67 year old woman. This woman has been sick for many, many years. Her history goes back 40 years with severe bowel problems, including ulcerative colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, and alternating constipation and diarrhea over that length of time. After only two months on nutritional supplements, the difference in her blood is really quite extraordinary. Her energy and well-being improved significantly. Bowel problems improved, particularly constipation. Her stool was much more regular and much softer. Her sleeping pattern improved. Her mouth was less sore. She had less ulcerations and her eyes had improved significantly as well. You can see that the red blood cells are not all even in size and shape. She still has work to do. The plasma is much cleaner. There is debris present. But the change from one sample to the next is really quite remarkable. The cells are no longer stuck together. There are few stacks and few clumps. Most of the cells can be seen floating freely in the blood. They are live, shimmering and moving around in the plasma. It is a vastly improved sample. This is the sample of a 43-year-old housewife and mother of four children. She presented for microscopy feeling tired and run down, but maintaining general good health. She was curious to look at her sample to determine what it looked like and if nutritional supplements could help improve her situation. As you can see in the sample, the red blood cells are stuck one on top of the other. There's rouleauing in her sample as well. This shows us that even people who appear well on the outside can be very different inside. After only three months on nutritional supplements, again the difference is really quite startling in this sample. The red blood cells are no longer stuck together. They float freely in the blood.